comes to us. This first passage I want to look at is one that we have named the Great Commission. It is the great mission of our lives. And this is what it says. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. This is Jesus speaking. So therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. This is our great mission. Don't let its familiarity make it lose its meaning for you. This is why we're on the planet, and this is what I want you to notice. I want you to notice it didn't say, hey, guys, I'm going away, and this is what I want for Christianity. Be moral. Stay out of trouble. Watch your language. Don't watch pornography. Vote conservatively, and try to leave the place better than you found it. I just defined it, uh, American spirituality, if you're wondering what that was. That's the bar for the American church. Be moral. Be good. Watch your language. Don't watch pornography. Help old ladies across the street. Leave the place better than you found it. It's not what he said, is it? No, in fact, he starts his promise with a much different word, the word authority. He said, I want to talk to you about authority. Do you know when authority comes into the question? When there's a lawbreaker who's stealing from people and there's bloodshed that doesn't need to be happening anymore and the law needs to come back in order. He says, I want to talk to you about authority. And if you remember, authority had been given to us when God made the, the planet. He said, I want you to go with me, and there's going to be peace and joy and pleasure, and you're this place called Eden, and it's awesome, and it's amazing. And then we lost it. We gave it to the enemy who became the prince of this world. Fast forward. Jesus dies on the cross. It says he made a public spectacle of the enemy, completely disarmed him, and he has taken back the authority. And now he says, guys, this is what I need to talk to you about. This isn't just about morality. This isn't just about waiting for a get-out-of-jail-free card. This is about bringing heaven to earth. And what you're going to need to know is I've got authority, and now I'm giving it to you to do what? You ready? Here's our mission. You ready for our mission? Are you ready for our mission? Because I don't know about you, but I, I, I've seen too long in the church, and I've been too long in the place where it's predictable, it's sustainable, it's little step by little step, and that with enough time and enough effort, anybody can accomplish the goal. Am I right? That's not the gospel. See, the gospel by its very nature is impossible. So Jesus says this, you want to know what your mission is? Go make disciples of all nations. Now, here's something we did. We changed this little word of to in. We changed it to make it more manageable. We didn't do it in the text. We just did it in our minds. We said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in all nations and make disciples. In fact, you'll go in places where they say, we just got to get in every tribe and announce Jesus, and then he raptures us out of here. Not only is that very consumer in its approach, it's not what it says. Jesus didn't say, go in America and whoever's willing to listen, get some there. And then go in Haiti and whoever's willing to listen, get some there. And then go in Nigeria and whoever's willing. No, no, no. He said, listen, you want to know what I expect now that authority's in your hands again? Go make America my disciple. Can we admit that's impossible apart from the grace of God? If America turns, has a, a literal national revival, could we say, well, given enough time and effort and reading enough books, I mean, I read John Maxwell's leadership. And I figured out how to do it. Or could we say, no, we're dealing with the impossible. God showed up. Well, here's what he said. You want, you want the baseline for, by the way, this is the first speech ever given. This is 101. This is the seeker class. Okay, you want the seeker class where Jesus says, you're in, you're a Christian. Here's the first thing you need to know. For us, we say, try to show up on Sunday morning. He says, oh, yeah, go make America a disciple. And then when you're done with that, go make Haiti a disciple. And when you're done with that, go make Nigeria a disciple. And then we're just getting started. He actually wants us to bring literal heaven down to literal earth. But guys, we've got a bar that has become so pathetically low. Our cultural bar has become so low that we've got to shift it out of the way and step back up. The reality right now is Jesus wants for everyday ordinary believers to bring his kingdom to earth. How? There's something I told you earlier. When Jesus came into a city, was it ever the same? When Jesus shows up, everything changes, right? Yeah. People are healed. They believe who they are. Well, guess what? We are the body of Christ. This would be scandalous unless it were right in black and white in front of us. We are called literally to bring heaven to earth.